Hey guys, Xbox here, and uh, this is just going to be a quick review on the associated B44 buggy here. So, I mean, you know, I I haven't done any running videos on my uh, B4, B44s here yet, because I wanted to put a lot of packs through them before I gave, you know, sort of my overall opinion of them. I'm not a, um, I'm not like a, a racer at a track, I'm just a basher. I go out in the woods, you guys have sort of seen my track where I go around and bash them and stuff like that, so... I'm going to give you my opinion on these things um, after I sort of bashed them up a little bit. But I got two of them here. This one I ran for a little bit as my test rig, and I got a pretty good deal on another one. And this is the one I've been bashing out in the woods. But you can see these things are great cars. I mean, they are very, very light. Um, you know, I don't, I don't see many four-wheel drive buggies. I mean, there's a couple on the market, but for the most part, you can see, I mean, carbon fiber upper deck, carbon fiber lower deck, a lot of aluminum trick parts here. I want you guys to see this. I don't know how, again, how good my uh, camera is going to do here. But you can see a lot of trick parts in this. Um, uh, nitrated coated shock shafts, threaded shock bodies, uh, carbon fiber front and rear um, shock towers. These things are sweet. Very nimble. Puts the power to the ground. I did put um, uh, some J-Concept tires on these. I noticed the tires that came stock with these weren't all that great. But these seem to do very well. Grass, dirt, rocks, road, you name it. Um, one thing that I did notice about these things that, that, that one of you guys might notice too is um, you definitely want to run it with one of these under trays. Uh, just for the sheer fact that, man, you're going to get a lot of, you know, scrapes and bumps and stuff like that on the bottom of these things. So I recommend just definitely running with an under tray. It does block, I'll show you here, it does block a lot of the screw holes. So you can see that, you know, there's like a screw here, screw here, this goes over the top and then a screw in the back. It does block some of the stuff in here that you have to get to, but it's it's minimal for the sheer fact that you won't have to, uh, you know, dig a bunch of grime out of your screws and stuff like that. So, overall, it's a great car. I I don't know, guys. I mean, uh, you know, if I was a racer, you know, on a track track, oh, man, I would, I would love to race this thing because it just flat out flies, very nimble, very lightweight, and just an overall good car. I'm going to throw that over there and show you this one. This is the one I was bashing around here. You can see it's a little dirty. I don't have my ESC and stuff in it, so I'm gonna put my um, I'm gonna put my Castle Creations uh, kit in here. But it's pretty much the same thing. These ones, though, I am running the uh, let's go back here. The low C tires on here. Again, um, you know they're okay. I mean, I did run. The, I mean, the low C rims with the uh, actual Pro Line tires on here. Real soft and sticky. They did you know very very well. Oh, I thought that bead was coming off right there. But again, you could see. Just an overall great vehicle. I haven't had any problems with it. The diffs were great. Um, handled again great. Haven't blown anything yet, especially when I use this uh, underbottom tray here. Not a lot of rocks and stuff get in here and get in the gear mesh and everything like that. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick review and show you guys my uh, my two different... Go back here. Show you guys my two different B44s here I have. Well, the same thing, but this is the one I run everything in. This one I'm more using just as a backup until I can get more electronics. But... I recommend this car. It's 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 a super nice car. Hopefully, I have some uh, running videos here in a little bit and show you guys this thing. I wish I would have got some the other day when it was nice and sunny, but I should have um, this up in here running and, and get some videos on it. But I do recommend it. So again, tons of carbon fiber on this thing, ton of trick parts. Overall, great car. I do recommend it uh, for any of you guys who are looking out there. Definitely subscribe if you guys haven't ready. And thanks again.